Hey guys, it's the Solo Coffee, and today in so this monster analysis video, we're going to be going over Shield Bolt, and I'm going to be telling you guys whether or not he is worth getting out of the Golden Legends Pass. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so Shield Bolt is a tank, and his traits are Taunt, which is really good, and then Tough, and then Damage Protection, which is also really good. The only one that's kind of eh is Tough, but the other two are really good, so it makes up for it. And then his relics are armor and sword, which are both pretty great. So his pros are great life and trait, thunder in a water meta, access to electrified and shock, which is really good for a tank. He also has neat supporting and damage boost, which is also really good for a tank. He has an ally double damage for zero cooldown, which is great. He has access to a megaton. And then very low cooldowns and stamina costs and armor relic is great for tanking. And his Conjar Sword is an odd relic for a tank. Reflective power applies evasion to an enemy, which is kind of annoying. He's also easily denied awful speed and only damage protection for sustaining. So he doesn't have heals or anything. So his moveset down here, he has the LA double damage with zero cooldown, which is very good. He also has a 45 thunder damage with electrified and evasion, which is really good. Oh, but I think that's the one that gives evasion to the enemy. So that is not too good. That is actually pretty bad. I'm not sure why you would want to use that, to be honest. I would probably use the self megaton team minor damage boost instead. Especially if you're using this monster with the new ancestor that needs monsters that give damage boost to get his virtue. This would be a great option to use with him. And then he also has the AoE 30 thunder damage with shock and electrified. And then he has a self damage protection with a team damage boost. And then he has a self megaton with team minor damage boost. So yeah, all of those damage boost moves will be great to use with the new ancestor. So yeah, this monster is pretty good you will probably want to use the justice shield in order to give him megaton because megaton is very very good but even without megaton if you want to use this monster i definitely recommend using him with the new ancestor that will make him much much better because his moves do work really well with the new ancestor but if you don't have the new ancestor he won't be nearly as good but he'll still be decent so just keep that in mind when using a shield bolt he is pretty great but it will make him even better if you have the new ancestor and if you have this shield right here if you have this shield he will be like 10 times better with the mega taunt but yeah he could still be good without all that but he won't be nearly as good so yeah let me know down in the comments if you guys are going to get shield bullet if you guys are going to get the new golden legends pass and yes this is in the next one over to like share and subscribe goodbye